Hello and welcome to High School Football on WOSN. Alongside Darren Gilbert, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight it's a max showdown between the New Bremen Cardinals and the Minster Wildcats. Darren, excited to be with you. Two great teams with similar records, six and two. Uh, New Bremen comes in four and two in the MAC and Minster at five and one, but some really great quarterbacks oh, as well. Really good athletes on both sides of the ball, especially at the quarterback position. Interesting evening tonight. Obviously, you're chasing Coldwater and Marion local for the league crown, but there's a ton of computer points riding on this ball game tonight. And it's Minster that will kick off wearing the white uniforms, and this one will be returned from the ten yard line. Down the right side, go the Cardinals, upended. Wow, he crosses somebody, the 25 ball. Big, big pop on him. Ball hit the ground, still no signal from the referees. Big hit by Max Kanapke there. And they're going Schaefer to say, was the ball carrier. They're going to say it's New Bremen football, so big mistake avoided there by the Cardinals, and they will come out led by their quarterback, David Homan, six foot. 167 pound senior. Seems like he's been here forever. Watched him numerous times on the hardwood. And they'll keep this one on the ground with Ben Saylor. Hey, pardon me. That was 28, Hunter Schaefer on the carry. Picks up a yard, second down nine coming up. Spazing with the stop for the visitors, the Minster Wildcats. New Bremen, as we said, four and two in the MAC. Minster five and one. As normal, both teams chasing Coldwater and Marion local at the top of the conference as Holman breaks a tackle. Holman's got some space down the left side as he's pushed out at midfield. And a big first down there by New Bremen. Yeah, there's the athleticism he shows when he breaks free. Nice block there to, to spring him loose. He was shoved out of bounds there by Noah Sweeterman. Holman passes quickly out to the right side. That's caught by Tiemann. Tiemann picks up a couple. Good first down play. Niemeyer on the stop. Got him by the ankles. Mopped up by his teammates. It's a pickup of four. Brings up a second and six for the Cardinals. Yeah, they didn't mess around, did they? I mean, they got right back into their formation and snapped the football. Very quick tempo being displayed here by the Cardinals. Keep this one on the ground. It's Hunter Schaefer again. Schaefer, nice cut up field to pick up a couple. Looks like we'll have a third down and four. Now, even though he didn't make the stop there, Adam Riddler, Riddler did a really nice job coming up and turning the ball carrier back inside. Schaefer had to work his way for a couple yards there. We'll run it quickly. They go back to Schaefer. Schaefer picks up the first down. Schaefer off to the races, and he won't be caught. Early touchdown for the New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, that young man has got some speed to go along with some power with them legs, and he just kept his legs churning, broke away from an early tackle there at the line of scrimmage, and it was all on his way to pay dirt. 44-yard touchdown run for Hunter Schaefer. PAT on the way. That's how you want to start a football game. Well, they're establishing themselves right now with the running game. Schaefer with the PAT duties as well, and it is good. 7-0, your score early on. New Bremen on top of Minster on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. Speedway Lanes brings family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. Seven nothing on that scoreboard. Not even two minutes into this game, we talked about the quarterback play, but it was the run game that got New Bremen into the end zone. Yeah, they established it both out of the quarterback position and also with their running back. Mixed in with a little, what, a couple quick dump offs, I think, went for four or five yards. But yeah, definitely they established a running game on that first possession. And Hunter Schaefer will kick this one away. Nice high kick, a bit short. It'll be returned from the nine yard line. Here's going to be a kick 
down the left side and good coverage by New Bremen as they bring down the Minster returner. It's tough to see the number there. I think it was Chase Cows. It was Cows, yeah. David Holman on the stop. Yeah. New Bremen. Brings out the Minster offense led by quarterback Brogan Steffi. Just a sophomore standing at 6'1", 165. Going with an open backfield, aren't they? Five wide. Three wide receivers split out to the right side. New Bremen blitzes. They get the ball out quickly, and it's caught. And we've got another first down. Appeared to be Niemeyer. Ran out of bounds there. 83. Hayden Zeller, the six foot five inch junior. And that's enough, as we said, for the first down ball up to the 29 yard line. Now Minster will put a runner, two runners in the backfield on either side of Steffi. And. Yeah, when they played St. Henry, St. Henry gave them fits the first half. They were blitzing from the linebacker spots and also the defensive back positions. And Minster had to make some adjustments at halftime. And it was nip and tuck the first half. And, you know, when Steffi gets some time to get his feet set, he can, he can throw it to all parts of the field. And I think we have an issue with the clock. Referee's trying to work things out. No pressure. <laughs> they want 9.53 on the clock, and they got it. So we will resume play first and 10 from the Minster 29. Yeah, all eyes were definitely on the scorekeepers up here, <laughs> resetting the clock. Steffi keeps this one on the ground, picks up positive yardage. As a matter of fact, looked like he picked up about six yards on the play. Ball up to the 35, second and four coming up. Evan Eink on the stop for the Cardinal. Really good job there by Steffi, getting about seven yards, actually six. They split two wide receivers out to the right side. Runner lined up directly behind Steffi this time. Steffi to throw. Throws it over the top and just out of reach of his target, looking for Niemeyer again. Third and four coming up. Yeah, I think he'd like to have that one back. He was just a little bit quick on the release. He was open. He got behind the defender. And they do have speed in, in, in their athletic positions, especially on the perimeter. Their wide receivers are exceptionally quick. Steffi with two wide receivers split out to the right side this time. They'll keep it on the ground, looking for the right side, and they get nowhere. Justin Bergman on the carry, brought down after a gain of one and a fourth and three coming up. And decision time for Minster. It's like more like fourth and two. Yeah, Gavin Plyman right there saved the first down. He got him by the ankles, because if he doesn't catch him, he's going to get a first down and more. Punt team out for Minster. That's Brady Wolf back to punt. Teaming and Homan back to return for New Bremen. And New Bremen's going to have to take a timeout. Looks like they were confused about their personnel. So with 8.31 on the clock in the first quarter, we'll step aside. 7 0, New Bremen on top. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Fourth and two for Minster, and oh, they're going to fake, fake the punt, working down the right oh, side and brought there. down big in the pop. backfield. There's the four-year letterman, Mr. Homan, coming up, making sure he did not get there. David Homan on the tackle. Looked like 23 Ben Saylor was in there as well. And good heads up play by New Bremen and a good great field out, position. Huh? Pretty good time out. I think he warned the kids to look for it. Well, and initially they had home, um, they had Homan all the way back, and then they switched him to an up position, and he ended up making the tackle as he runs that one on first down. 
Big kick out block here by Jack Saylor. 5'11 sophomore. And Mr. Holman ran right off his backside. There's our first flag of the night. This one's going to come back, I think. It might be a sideline warning as okay. New Bremen works up. I mean, he threw it back to the 40-yard line. It is a sideline warning, so okay. the play will stand. Okay. We'll make that the first call of the game, though, and tonight's first calls are presented by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. So with the sideline warning, the play will count, and a nice pickup by New Bremen. Good officiating there, coming over, explaining to the coaches. Yeah, it's not common you see a referee throw the flag 10 yards backward. Well, it, actually out of the, the line of play, too. It right. was right in, into where the kids were standing and the coaches. I think he may have hit the kid that, uh, that was the offender there as Holman takes the snap. He'll keep it on the ground and breaks a tackle. Picks up positive yardage, but he's about three yards short of the goal line. Yeah, it appears Adam Rindler had him by the ankles. And great athletic play there with control and balance by Mr. Holman. Got him in a second goal at about the three. Power formation. Holman again keeping it on the ground. Runs through a tackler. It looked like he might have been short. And he was indeed. He's right between the goal line and the one. Yeah, so we'll have third and half a yard to go. Connor Schmeezing grabbed him by the ankles along with Will Kanapke. Yeah, they're just going to pound it right behind the horses up front. They're going to say, stop us if you can, Minster. Same play. Holman. Stopped again at the goal line. Needs to get forward. Still no signal from the referee. There it is. Touchdown, Cardinals. Yep, got a little help from the, the backfield. A little push, a little secondary push right there. They had him stood up at the line of scrimmage, but I think that secondary push from the running back got him to break that plane. So Homan with the second score of the game for the Cardinals, 13-0. The home team on top, PAT pending. Hunter Schaefer back out. Good snap, good kick. And it is 14-0 on your Speedway Lane scoreboard here in New Bremen as we step aside. 6.55 to go in the first quarter on WOSN. Our first calls tonight are presented by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. 14-0 the score here in New Bremen. Cardinals with a great start to this game, scoring on both of their possessions so far tonight. A 44-yard touchdown run from Hunter Schaefer on their first possession, and then a one-yard touchdown run from quarterback David Homan. And that ball rolls into the end zone. Yes, sir, will come back out after falling short on a fake punt, giving New Bremen good field position. Yeah, he couldn't have placed that any better on the kick. I mean, it just cleared the far side pylon, went into the end zone. So this drive will start from the 20 yard line. Minster kept the ball on the ground for the most part on their first drive. They threw two passes. They'll split two wide receivers out to the right side. Bergman in the backfield with quarterback Brogan Steffi. Cardinals show blitz from the left side. Steffi rolls left, wants to throw, and it is incomplete. A good looking pass but it went through the hands of Chase Kaus. Yeah, he actually had two receivers. He also had a drag receiver there, Will Fremel. He decided to go to Kaus and just went off his fingertips. Brings up second down, 10. I don't know if you could have threw that any better. That was a good ball. That was right there. Especially on the run across his body mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, there was some real estate there for Mr. Kaus to 
pick up some extra yardage. They'll split two out left this time. Matter of fact, they'll send one over to the right. That's Chase Kaus. So two on the right side. Steffi rolling that way. Throws and incomplete. Good timing there by Homan as he makes contact just after Kaus touches the ball and it falls incomplete. You know, looking from up here, it looked like he had a beat on the football. Mm -hmm. I was I was wondering if he was going to try to shoot the, the gap right there and try to get that interception because if he did, he had a free pass for six more points. Incompletion brings up third down ten. Yeah, that one right there, that's, that's neither the quarterback or the wide receiver's fault. That's just a great defensive play by a – very intelligent football player and an athlete. They send Kaus in motion. Steffi wants to throw left, nowhere to go. Now throws, it's a deep ball, got a man incomplete. He had Connor Schmeezing wide open and it goes right through his hands. Gil, that's three drop passes. One you well, might say was excusable, and, but still. And that one right there, Smeezing does score because he had number 55 on a linebacker, Jack Saylor, and there was no doubt about it. It was a mismatch, and if he'd have caught it, he had nothing but free grass to the end zone right there. Tough break by the Wildcats. This punt is nice and high, but it's awfully short. Bounces at the 46-yard line and grabbed by Minster. We'll see where they touched it, and they're going to give them the 48-yard line. So New Bremen in their third drive starting, excuse me, second drive that they've started in Minster territory. Yeah, if you're Minster, this is where you've got to buckle down defensively and get a three and out or maybe give them one first down, but they've got to get the football back because if they, you know, allow New Bremen to punch another score in, that's going to put them down three scores. And a reverse here as they keep it on the ground with Dylan Bambauer, Bombauer, excuse me. And Bombauer picks up nine yards just short of the line to gain, so a second and one coming up. Niemeyer on the stop. Two split out left for Homan. Throws that way and it's caught. Teeman in the seam and picks up the first down. Brought down by a host of Wildcats. Brady Wolf appears to be in there, number six. Caleb Sharp, Schwederman. Quickly back to the line, first and 10. Homan has a man deep. Throws it over the top. A flag comes out. I think out. we got a hold. I think they're going to get a hold on Niemeyer, maybe. It's, a little, it's on the far side. I think that was the only way to prevent him from getting behind him was to grab that jersey. You know, silly as it sounds, that's probably not a bad play to give him the 10 yards versus that six points in the end zone. Yeah, you're right. Grant Dickey was the intended target. He got in behind the defense, and I think they basically had to grab him. Otherwise, it was a touchdown. Well, you, yeah, you could see it home, and you, you couldn't see his eyeballs, but I'm telling you, he, he was zoned in and saw it immediately as he started his rollout. There's some broken coverage as there's a man open on the right side, but they keep it on the ground, a and still a good pickup. Right there, Minster wasn't guarding the receiver in the seam. They ran over late to guard him, but the play was a run anyway. Goes for six yards. Devin Webker on the stop. Homan wants to pass. <coughs> now throws back of the end zone and through the hands of his target. That was Hayden Zeller in the end zone, the 6'5 receiver. Big target. Yeah, if he's 6'6", he may bring that one in. You know, the good thing, though, Homan threw that football to the back of the end zone. Nobody's going to get it other than his teammate. If not, it's going to go as an incomplete pass. Brings up a third and four. This 
Split two out to the right side. Ben Saylor split out to the left. Homan looks like he'll keep this on the ground as he cuts up field, puts a shoulder down, and picks up the first down. Nice luxury to have to run behind Mr. Schaefer right there. Nice kick out block by Schaefer. Freed up Mr. Homan to get that first down. First and goal. Ball at the eight yard line for first and goal. Bergman on the stop there from Minster. Homan fakes the handoff, runs up the left side and runs into the end zone. And I'll tell you what, the Cardinals are running away with this right now as they lead 20 to zero with a PAT pending. Yeah, they're controlling the line of scrimmage. Give a lot of credit to those offensive linemen up front. It's not possible to run without their contributions and they're opening up some big gaps for those athletes to get through, whether it be Schaefer or Holman. Schaefer with the PAT, nice looking kick. And just like that, the score 21-0 with 4.33 left in the first quarter as we step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Twenty-one to zero, your score here in New Bremen as the Cardinals with three rushing touchdowns in the first quarter. Two of them from the quarterback David Homan, and the first one was a 44-yard touchdown run from running back Hunter Schaefer. I don't know if we expected twenty-one to zero this early in the game. Well, against a team like this, you've got to have ball control and you've got to clock management when you get your opportunities and they present themselves, you've got to convert. And right now, that's been an issue for Minster. And this one goes out at the two-yard line. So it'll come out to the 35. Minster's got some work to do. We talked at the break. They've dropped a couple passes that likely would have gone for, if not a touchdown, at least a big play. Well, you got to figure when you don't score in the other team, that's a 14-point swing. Minimum six points on two field goals, but it could be as possibly as much as 14. And this is one where they've got it. They've got to get something sustained and get some first downs and chew up some yards here. Trips out to the right side for Minster as they start this drive from their own 35. Steffi has Bergman in the backfield, looks to pass. Oh, they Blitz. got him. That ball comes sure out. Did. And it's recovered by Minster. Nice heads up play there by Justin Bergman. And I'll Hayden tell you what, Zeller, New Hayden Bremen Zeller. has blitzed from the outside well, multiple times and, and, successfully. And, that, and, that, yeah, and that's exactly what St. Henry did. And Minster had to make adjustments at halftime, but they were bringing the linebackers and also the DBs against uh, St. Henry. And St. Henry was very successful in the first quarter when they played. And it looks like but it was, time out But it was field. Hayden Zeller with a big pop there. It's good to see Steffi get up because, boy, his head snapped when that football come out. Yeah, those blindside hits oh. can be dangerous, and that was well-timed. Like you said, good to see everyone get up. Now Minster just going to call a timeout and I think try to regroup here. Things are not going their way. It'll be second down 28 when play resumes. <laughs> Remember, Minster, a team that comes into tonight six and two, five and one in the MAC. Yeah, to our understanding, they're number five in the region, and mm -hmm. uh, New Bremen is number four, or vice versa. But there's going to be a lot of computer points that's going to play out tonight for the winner. Second and 28, Steffi will be alone in the backfield this time. They'll split two to the right side. Tight end lined up on either side of this formation. Steffi, more time to throw this time. That one's caught. And they pick up some of those yards. Sure they did. Lost. That's good pass protection there. The lineman stepped up and 
met the pressure, give him some time to get that pass off. Like you said, they didn't get it all back, but there was some positive there. Charlie Schmeezing with the catch, ball up to the 29 yard line, third down 15, or like 16, excuse me. Steffi will stay alone in the backfield once again, similar formation, but they'll flip it. Steffi to pass, New Bremen only rushes three. Now throws and it's out of bounds over the head of his target, Schmeezing. And again, a long fourth down and the punt team will come back out from Minster. Excellent pressure there by Jack Saylor and Evan Eink. Well, and as we said at the beginning of that play, they only brought three, but the defensive end was able to get some penetration and they tried to roll out to the left side. There's the DN ready to chase down the quarterback, Steffi, and made it a tough throw. Yeah, he had to get rid of it because if not, he was going to take another sack. High kick, Holman calls for a fair catch. And so New Bremen will come back out looking to extend the lead to four scores. And we're still in the first quarter here, Gil. Yeah, this is one, like I said, Minster's, I know it sounds like a repeated record here, but they've got to find some way to get a turnover or find some points to get themselves back into this. We thought that was going to happen on opening kickoff, and you know, New Bremen maintained possession. This one's on the ground, left side, and a shoestring tackle there by number three. That's Devin Webker. Hunter yeah, Schaefer, the probably, ball carrier. He probably saved about another 15 yards right there, didn't he? Seven yard pickup, second and three coming up. Nice problem to have to have a running back that's capable of getting you 100 plus yards a night and a quarterback that can throw it, run it. Makes it tough to prepare. Absolutely. Two wide receivers on the left side. Holman fakes the handoff, he'll carry it up the middle and picks up the first down as he nears midfield, brought down at the 49. Just banged his way out there, didn't he? Well, it's good. Ian Holman on the stop of David Holman. As good as New Bremen is passing the football with a 21-0 lead, I know it's early, but they've got the luxury of just being able to keep the ball on the ground and let the clock run. Well, it's the line of scrimmage. They're controlling it right now, and why, you know, why throw it? Turn right around, I said, then he lets one go, huh? But he's keeping them honest. Looking for Blake Suchland on that pass. Looked like he wanted to throw out to the left side, but his target wasn't looking. So he just tossed it up and over the top. Nothing hurt there, second down 10. You know, Minster going to some substitutions here. The, that defense has been on the field a lot here in the first quarter. And that's Tiemann taking the snap for New Bremen. Tiemann throws it over the top and that's incomplete. Kind Looking of a wildcat Holman, formation as Holman and Tiemann switch spots. So now third down 10 for New Bremen. Now the Cardinals taking their time. 201 on the clock. Woman has Schaefer lined up to his right. Two wide receivers, top of your screen. Woman wants to pass, goes over the top, and this one overthrown as well. He had two guys behind the defense. Tiemann back there, as was Dylan Bumbauer. Trying to see who was on the stop. Looked like uh, well, Steffi was back there, and I think it was Smeezing defending. Now Hayden Zeller on to punt this one away. That's Chase Kaus back to return for Minster. Good job by Minster. They're going to get the football back. That's the thing they need at that stop. Fair catch called for at the 13 yard line. So Minster will come back out 149 on the clock in the first quarter. They have some work to do, but a stop like that can sometimes propel your team.
payoff time right around the corner. Seems like every every season I call games, it gets a week eight or nine, and I think, where did the time go? Yep. What happened here? Wait till you get older. <laughs> Pretty good, old, Gil. Good, well, you think about it. We're a month away from Thanksgiving, and goodness gracious, what? Eight weeks away from Christmas. Yeah. Steffi will keep this one on the ground up the left side. A good pickup on Whoa, first down. Dropped that shoulder. Got himself an extra two or three yards with that effort. Enough for a first down as he picks up 12. Steffi, again, just a sophomore. Great athlete. Oh, he's a, he's a really good basketball player, and he's the type of kid on playing as a freshman last year. The opposition was trying to be physical with him, and he did not back down. That's right. Tough, hard-nosed kid. Nice first down there by the Wildcats. Here comes the pressure. Steffi again on the ground, and he runs right into a tackler. That's Evan Ayink. Called his name a couple times tonight already. Run goes for a yard. Yeah, that's definitely a fundamental tackle right there, huh? Got the shoulder pads into him. Kept the head up. Actually, a pickup of two, so a second down, eight coming up. They'll split two wide receivers, left side, tight end lined up on that left side as well. Actually, double tight ends. Steffi wants to pass quickly out to the right side. It's caught, and a broken tackle there by Schmeezing. Schmeezing. Run right out of the boundary by number 23, Ben Saylor. He's knocked out of bounds by number 23, Ben Saylor. Dylan Bambauer also assisting for New Bremen. Nice job there, nice pitch and catch. All up to the Minster, 47. Guard after contact. Good job there by Smeezing, getting another 10 or 12. Man in motion, that's Wolf. Now another one in motion, that's Schmeezing. Steffi runs out to the left side and a good pickup once again. Holman and Bambauer on the stop. It's a six yard gain. Yeah, Ben Saylor came from that backside. Steffi got away from him though, ran, ran away from him. Good job getting about, what, six? Five seconds on the clock. Not sure Minster is going to get another playoff. And they will not. So that is it for the first quarter. New Bremen leading this one 21-0 as we step aside. Second quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School for the start of the second quarter. New Bremen on top of the traveling Minster Wildcats, 21 to nothing, three touchdowns on the ground in the first quarter. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you tonight. Second and four. Nice job by the lineman picking it up. Steffi throws behind his intended target. That was Schmeezing. So a third and four. Yeah, Minster changed it up. Instead of coming from the outside on the blitz, they came right into the A-B gap. Good job by the offensive lineman. Gabe Bourne, horse there with a solid effort of stopping that blitz, or at least chipping it. Steffi with two wide receivers split up to the right side, and that's going to be a false start in our first call of the quarter. And our first calls tonight are presented by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Lots of laughs, but which new Bremen Cardinal was it? There's like right. three of them, right? It looked like they were coming out of the blocks on the track meet. Yeah, they had their ears pinned back. <laughs> Waiting to find the football. Just a little bit too quick. 
And they've had success blitzing from the outside tonight, as we've talked about already. Now they show blitz. They'll just bring four. Steffi wants to go deep, goes over top, and incomplete. His target fell over, and it looked like just some feet getting tangled up. So good no call there by the referees. Yeah, that length right there by Hayden Zeller, his quickness from the defensive end position, he uh, he's finding his way in the backfield, making it difficult for Steffi to get his feet set. If you notice anything that Steffi's throw now, he's got to move around in the pocket. They are not allowing him to get his feet set to throw. And he's so dangerous when he's able to, you know, just stand back there and get both feet set. Second and 10 from the 42. Steffi's got to throw again. That one's dropped. Seen a lot of those tonight as that was intended for Devin Whipker. Yeah, the stats aren't going to show it here in the first half, but he's thrown some very good footballs. Mm -hmm. So now third and ten, and I don't want to assume anything, but possibly four down territory here for Minster. Yeah, they're just taking their eyes off the football right now, and I think part of that could be some of the hard hits that we've seen early on. You know, we've seen the, the hit on the quarterback, then we turn around and seen Holman hit a wide receiver. And, and we've got a timeout taken by Minster, their second of the game as we step aside as well. 11.46 on the clock here in the second quarter. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 21 nothing on that scoreboard as we return from a Minster timeout. Third down, 10 for the Wildcats. Steffi looking to throw, doesn't have anywhere to go. Now throws across the middle of the field and another dropped pass. That time intended for Connor Schmeezing. You wonder if this young quarterback is getting a little rattled by all these dropped passes. Well, He's thrown some really nice balls, as you said, just before the break. Well, that's where, you know, his leadership is going to pay off. You don't seem – well, it appears he's not getting flustered because he threw another really nice ball right there, had plenty of time, looked, just looked everybody over, and he actually did throw a dart right there. Those are the ones you've got you've to haul in and you've got to maintain possession of. This is big, fourth down and 10. New Bremen blitzes, still time for Steffi to throw. Now throws right side and well over the head of his intended target. No flags on the field, so a turnover on downs. Yeah, this was intended for Kaus there. Sorry, Kaus. Yeah, well, that's okay. Um, that's my fault you know, for interrupting right there, but Holman did a really good job just staying stride for stride there with Kaus and just wouldn't let him get free. So New Bremen back to work. They scored on three out of four drives in this game. They'll start from their own 42. So two wide receivers split out to the left side. Holman hands this one off. It's Schaefer. Schaefer running right and runs into the back of his own player as he Steps out of bounds after a gain of two. Bounced out of bounds by Aaron Peppelman, his teammate. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's James number, Niemeyer yeah, with number the 16, tackle, yeah. right? Yep. Second down, eight. Good job there by Schaefer trying to get as much as he could, though. They fake the handoff to Teeman. Holman makes a guy miss. Still on his feet as he gets up to midfield. Two yards short of the first down, but a third and two coming up. Certainly manageable for a new Bremen team that very seldom gets dropped for a loss. Caleb Sharp on the stop along with Noah Schwederman. For the Wildcats. Third and two, teaming in motion. And this time the ball hits the ground. Holman picks it up. 
Holman trying to make something happen, but ultimately brought down in the backfield. Yeah, Caleb Sharp with a nice open field tackle. Yep, that's one that on the handoff, they didn't get it in the bread basket. And it ended up on the turf. Holman tried to get as much out of it as he could. Good job by Minster. It's a loss of nine, fourth down 11. And Zeller back out to punt this one away. Let's chase Kaus back to return. End over end kick. This will bounce at the 28 yard line and bounce out of bounds at the 22. Nice punt by that young man. Definitely. Whether it be on kickoffs or punts, they're definitely trying to keep the football away from Mr. Kaus, the senior, five foot nine, has blazing speed when he gets possession of it. So Minster, after surrendering a touchdown on three straight drives, has now gotten two straight stops. Their offense still trying to put something together, but the defense keeping them in this game. Absolutely. Steffi has two wide receivers split either direction. Wants to pass, throws to the right side. That's caught. Nice pitch and catch there as it's brought in by Devin Webker. And it goes for a first down. Ben Saylor on the stop for New Bremen. Nice little pitch and catch right there. Got enough for a first down for Minster. All up to the 35 yard line. Same formation here for Minster. Steffi, a runner right to his left. Looking to throw. Now has to step up. Still looking to throw. Now just runs out of bounds. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. As a matter of fact, I think they're going to drop him for a loss of one. He tried to get back as much as he could. Smart play, though, because he really could have threw that thing and panicked, and, you know, bad things typically happen when right. you do that. And he just, you know, basically took the football and ran out of bounds with it. Ball back to the 34 for a second down 11. Play for another play, right? Absolutely. Now they split two wide receivers out left. Tight end on the right side of this formation. New Bremen blitzes, and Steffi keeps it on the ground but runs right at that blitz. Still picks up a yard or two. Yeah, trying to see who met him. Steffi, the ball carrier, looks to pick up two on the play, where he's brought down to number 25. Dylan Bumbauer brings up third. Bumbauer on the stop with Benjamin Ransbottom. Pickup of two, third down nine here. Big play for Minster, trying to get something on the board. Bremen brings the house. Steffi trying to get away from the pressure. Needs to throw, he does, and he throws it out of bounds. So a fourth and nine coming up, and presumably a punt. New Bremen brought about eight guys right so there. They so quick. They close, so they gone fast. Yeah. They're quick at the linebacker spot. They're quick at the defensive end. It's fourth down and nine, and indeed it's punt formation for Minster. They tried to fake their first punt, and it went nowhere. Teeman and Homan back to return. This one a bit short. It'll bounce at the 36. And down there by number nine, that's Adam Rindler. So New Bremen comes back out on offense. We mentioned it just moments ago, but three consecutive touchdowns to start this game and then two stops by the Minster defense in a row. That's how we find ourselves here at 21-0. You know, and credit Minster, I mean, they could have folded defensively after giving up that 21 early points. And they've done a, a very formidable job here in the last couple, three possessions of keeping New Bremen's offense in check. 
drive will start at the 26 yard line, eight and a half on the clock, kind of a slow moving first half. Homan hands this one off. It's Hunter Schaefer, and Schaefer tripped up at the line of scrimmage and falls forward for two or three. Trying to see who that was that stepped up. Appeared to be Devin Webker on the stop. It is a pickup of three, so a second down seven. A little inside handoff misdirection right there. Nice job by Mr. Webker coming up from his defensive back position to make the stop. Now a flag comes out. Appears to be a false start. Dropping back five yards. It'll be a second and 12 instead of second and seven. Pretty clean played game flag-wise so far. Yeah, only about, I think, three penalties. I don't have it marked down. I think Bremen has two, and like you said, Minster may have one. Very clean played game. Holman rolling out to his right side, looking to pass, has to evade a oh, sack. Nice stiff arm there by Mr. Holman. Now a jump ball sent up for Teeman, intercepted. Mr. A Kaus. nice grab there by Chase Kaus. Yeah, that's one of those where Mr. Holman had to avoid Caleb Sharp, and he just couldn't get you know his feet set and get that arm through to get the distance on it, and came up a little bit short. Mr. Kaus was right there for the INT. Big stop there by the Wildcats. Kaus listed at 5'9", Teeman at 5'11". So Teeman did have two inches on him, but like you said, that ball was underthrown. So Kaus had the better position to oh, bring yeah. it in. It was a rebound effort right there, and Mr. Kaus got possession of it. Now Minster, three wide receivers split out to the right side. Steffi hands this one off. It's Schmeezing. Schmeezing. It's about five. Yeah, it's a good run there. Bambauer on the stop. Solo tackle. And it's a gain of four officially, so second down six. Just looking at the roster, I think we I was talking earlier this year when we had Minster. I think they have eight or nine seniors. New Bremen was 16. So I counted seven. I could have counted incorrectly. I did count okay. seven seniors. Either way, though, eight, seven, eight, or nine is not many. You're Steffi right. running out to the right side and runs right into the defensive line of New Bremen. Stays on his feet, but... Still no gain. Actually, with forward progress, they give him two. So good job there by Brogan Steffi. Sailor and Baumbauer. Carbon copies, Sailor 6'1", 184, Baumbauer 6'1", 181. Huh. And they both can move. Different unit coming in for Minsters, they sub in three different players for this third down four. Three wide receivers split out to the right side. And now we'll get a timeout taken by Minster. Pardon me, referee switches it up. It's called by New Bremen. And so we will step aside. 21 nothing. New Bremen on top. The premier community sponsor tonight for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. We welcome you back for a third down four after a new Bremen timeout. Both teams have taken two in the first half. Brogan Steffi looking to pass this ball, throws, and it is incomplete. Just out of reach of his target, Chase Kaus, excuse me. And so that brings up a fourth down four. Decision time for the Wildcats. Yeah, Mr. Bambauer was bearing down right there on Mr. Steffi. Made Steffi get rid of it just a little bit too quick. It looks like Minster will go for it.
Steffi lines up with three wide receivers split out to the right side. New Bremen often brings quite a few on plays like this, in situations like this, excuse me. I think Steffi was trying the hard count and Minster going to take a timeout. Oh, oh, excuse me, a delay, delay of game. game. Yep. Still fourth down, and this time Minster will punt. Fourth and nine. Tiemann and Homan back to return once again. 5.58 on the clock here in the second quarter. Nice high punt. And a fair catch called for by Homan at the 22-yard line. Might have gotten the 23, but either way, it's new Bremen football. Now, Gil, another thing to consider here, we talked about how quickly this fall season has moved. Tonight's the final night of NBA preseason basketball. That season well, starts on Tuesday. What day did it start this week? Hockey. Hockey, yeah. The sports equinox on the horizon. First and 10, and Homan slips in the backfield, still ends up picking up positive yardage. He He'll give him his, about three. He banged his way out there, didn't he? I think he was met there by Will Kanapke. It's a gain of four officially, second down six. Two wide receivers split to the left for Homan. He has Hunter Schaefer lined up to his left, and now he pulls it down. Quarterback draw down the left side. Makes a couple guys miss. He'll be short of the first down, so a third and about two coming out. Yep, Webker tripped him up right there. You know, coming in tonight, Evan, I was a little bit concerned with the wind. You know, how big of a factor was that going to play in the passing game? But uh, apparently it's died down some because neither team's afraid to throw the ball tonight. Right now, though, New Bremen keeping it on I the think, ground. I don't think he got it. He might be short. Looks like he is very short. Close. They might give him the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. So a fourth and very short. Now, this is a team that doesn't get stopped for a loss often. Logic would say punt it, but. I think I'll take a measurement. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who was in on the stop. It looked like a two or three Wildcats in there. Now, we have an interesting angle from up here, but it looks like it's about half a yard short. Still, it'll be an interesting decision for New Bremen. They still have a timeout left. They can try. Oh, wait. He's short. Short about half the length of a football, it appears. So Homan running back out onto the field. I don't see Zeller running on. He's standing with Coach at about the 30-yard line. Zeller's the punter for New Bremen. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting decision New Bremen's going to make here. It appears they're going to go for it. We'll see if it's the hard count in a timeout situation. Now Zeller runs onto the field. And Coach Whiting and Coach Schmidt has done an excellent job with their football programs, both at Minster and New Bremen. Here's Holman, play clock down to eight. They send a man in motion, they do run the play, and Holman has plenty. Holman might have more. Holman across the 40, across the 20, the five. He trips, but he stays up, and a big run for Mr. Holman and another new Bremen touchdown. Yeah, Brogan Steph, he just couldn't run him down. The two basketball players, quarterbacks and athletes, and it turned out to be a, a sprint there and give Holman credit. He, he saw the scene in the middle of the field where it was vacated by the linebackers. And once he got by the first tier, it was a foot race. 68 yard touchdown carry. 
And the PAT by Schaefer is up and it is good. 28 to nothing here in New Bremen. 419 left in the second quarter as we step aside. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 28 to nothing on that scoreboard. Sponsored by Speedway Lanes, Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you tonight. As New Bremen kicks it away after a 68-yard touchdown run by quarterback David Homan. It's Homan's third touchdown run of the night. Cal's got him an opportunity to return the football right there on the kick. And he'll get it to the 26-yard line. So Minster back out on offense. Now New Bremen won the toss and elected to take the football to start this game. So it will be Minster ball coming back from the half. Gugag on the stop there for New Bremen along with Dylan Baumbauer. And correction, it's at the 27-yard line. So Steffi comes back out. They'll split three wide receivers out to the right side of this formation. Two to the left, empty backfield. Steffi wants to pass. They're setting up a screen, and that goes off the back of the offensive lineman. Pass was intended for James Niemeyer. Yeah, that play was well scouted. There was five new Bremen Cardinal in the vicinity of that football. If it was complete, it wasn't going to go for much. Clock stops with the incompletion. First time we've seen a screen pass in this ball game. Yes, it is. This time they'll split two wide receivers out right. Double tight end set. Man in motion, that's Schmeezing. And they're going to throw back and almost, oh, intercepted. almost intercepted. Aaron Tiemann knocking it down. Great effort. Now, we saw one like that earlier where Tiemann, actually it was Homan, that stopped and just uh, caused the incompletion. That time they did go for the interception. Did you notice Steffi finally looked to that blind side? Yeah, guess he did. Who was, guess who was bearing down on him again? Had him in his sights was Ben Saylor. This new Bremen defensive line. Really, the whole defense has done a really nice job getting into the backfield. Very they, well prepared, and they are very athletic. They deploy a lot of blitz packages, don't they? They come from the outside, they'll blitz the gaps. They show blitz one side and bring one from the other. I mean, they are a tough team to figure out. Well, and they got a bunch of seniors that's had experience, you know, and you're looking at, what, seven seniors on Minster? Or, yeah, seven yes. seniors, yep. a bunch of young kids, and. This is a you know learning experience for them, so to speak. Minster will take their last timeout of the half. And we saw them take a timeout earlier in this game. Their first one that they took seemed like one that was kind of a basketball timeout, where the team, one team goes on a run and you just need to take a timeout to, to, to try regroup, to change the momentum. Right? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's probably what we're looking at here. They surrendered a 68-yard touchdown run from David Homan. And then two plays in a row, they're not able to get anything going. Clock was stopped anyway. Well, so. What was it, three three possessions in a row, correct, mm -hmm. that Bremen took the, the football down and scored? That's right. And that put Minster behind the eight ball, and it's been an uphill battle ever since. Ooh, Coldwater and Versailles tied at 14 at halftime. Interesting implications for the max standings. Yeah, because that's a big one next week, right? Coldwater, Marion Local, isn't that week 10 every year? Oh, are those two rivals? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Always a big showdown in Northwest Ohio. As Steffi rolls out, tosses this one complete. Nice pitch and catch there to Webker. And I believe he's got the first down. I haven't seen Guess who's in there. the backfield again? <laughs> Sailor. Mr. Bambauer. Bambauer. Sailor. Yeah, Sailor Bambauer. All of them making Steffi work. Yeah, Zeller's taking a couple plays off. What the heck's he doing? <laughs> Playing both sides of the football and also their punter. 
Showing blitz from the left side. They send a man in motion. That's Schmeezing. They'll hand it off. Schmeezing looking for some space. Not much there, but still a good pickup. That is one key takeaway I think Mr. can take into the locker room. They've worked really hard in the run game, finding some space when it seems like there's nothing there. Bombauer on the stop along with Ben Ransbottom. Rand's bottom get him a little break here. Substituted out. Second down and seven trips left. Schmeezing again goes in motion. They fake it. Throw out to the right side, and New Bremen's giving up a lot of space off the line of scrimmage. Little pitch and catch here with Webker on the boundary. Got his feet in bounds for the first down. Great execution there by the Wildcats. You know, 314 to go. Is that enough time for Minster to get the football in the end zone? But I'll tell you, they're, they've settled down mm. offensively. They're not turning the football over. No timeouts remaining for Minster. Yeah, that's you. that yeah, that's that's gonna be the key here for this final three minutes. Steffi wants to throw. They've got one in the backfield. That's your guy. You think he heard Zeller. me? He might have. Didn't mean to upset him. And I don't know if there was a wide receiver in the area, but I think they might say that he was wrapped up as he threw. Is there a flag? There is not. Okay, okay. So I think they'll just say that his throwing motion was impacted by contact. Yes, Zeller must have heard us up here. I'll throw you under the bus, too. So, <laughs> yeah, what a play right there. Making a presence, getting himself in the backfield. Steffi needs to throw. Oh, Wrapped there's, up, there's able to get player. away, but now brought down. Gavin Plyman, the six-foot, one-inch senior with the sack. Sailor and Plyman in the backfield. Sailor with the initial contact. Yeah, Plyman that was the pressure and then allowing Plyman to clean it up, as you said. Brings up third down, 18. Clock at 2.30, play clock at 8. Minster split two out left. Steffi fakes the handoff, now throws, and it is complete, I believe. Nope, referee says he was out of bounds. So the clock stops at 2.15, and it's fourth down 18 for Minster. That play that official would see it. He's right on top of the play. Mr. Kelsey just Kelsey couldn't get his feet in bounds right there. Guess who the long snapper is, just out of curiosity. You tell me, I can't see it. Mr. Is it Kals. No, Kals, Mr. Okay. Kals. Sure is. And it's a good snap at that. Nice high kick, end over end. I think Homan's going to try to return this one. Homan up the right side, gets a couple blocks. Homan still on his feet as he crosses the 40 yard line up to the 44. And 2.02 on the clock, one timeout left. Remember, the running clock rule starts in the second half, but it is at 30. If a team is up by 30 right, or more, clock. it's a running clock. And you have to wonder if New Bremen wants to extend this lead to that 30 mark in order to have that running clock in the second half. We'll see what they do here. 2.02, one timeout left. First Connor Garrett on the last stop there by Holman's return on the punt. Patient run by Schaefer. He can't find anything. Ball came out. Minster says it's their football. There's bean bags or is there flags too? And it is Minster football. Okay. Our first turnover for New Bremen of this game. Trying to see who got their hands on the football. I don't know if it was Max Kanapke or not. I know Will Fremel was in there and made first contact with the ball carrier. Now Minster with 154 on the clock. Like we said before, no timeouts remaining in this half. 
Try to get something on the board before halftime. Drive starts on the 44-yard line of New Bremen. Yeah, obviously, you know, if you're New Bremen, you want to keep the football in the center of the field, take the boundaries away, let that clock, clock keep ticking. Kaus in motion. Steffi looks, throws, and that's complete. Nice touch pass. Sure was. Caught by Schmiesing. Threw right over the outstretched hands of the six foot five inch frame of Hayden Zeller to Smeezing. It's one where you think Zeller probably should have just turned around and ran backward rather than backpedaling. But hindsight 2020, clock down to 146, ball in the 19. Very well thrown ball there by Mr. Steffi. Got his feet set and threw a laser out there to Smeezing. Freeman blitzes, Steffi brings it down, plenty of time, now has to throw. It's intended for Webker and it is caught as Webker goes out of bounds. Looks like he picks up about two or three on the play. Not quite sure who defensively on, initially on the play, the defensive lineman or linebacker got their hands up, but it definitely took away Steffi's first option because he pump faked and uh, had to relocate and dumped it off to Webker along the side. It's a pickup of two officially, second down, eight. The little things, the fundamentals and the little things, and both these teams doing very well. And I Black spoke too out. soon. <laughs> it's gonna be a false start against Minster, so push them back five. Second and 13. The little things. <laughs> That's tough. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I think it was a wide receiver that Missed the cadence right there and jumped too soon. Still 139 on the clock. They'll split three out to the left side. We'll look at it this way. Steffi just wanted a little bit more. There you go. Field to work with here. Steffi throwing right. And it's caught. No, it's not. Incomplete. Trying to see who broke it. Oh, did he catch the football? No, he didn't. The ball's way in the back of the end zone. Referee on the near side thought he caught it. Referee on the far side said incomplete. And a good job by the crew getting together. It's absolutely the right call. I think the, the referee that was closest didn't have a good view of that football. Well, that's what you like to see. That's how referees are supposed to work together, right? Yeah, I'm just speech speechless right now. I was watching it, and it'd be it definitely a tough call by the official, you know. And defender right there, I'm trying to think who that or see who that was. It appeared to be Grant Dickey breaking up the pass there to Webker right there at the pylon. Third and 13, Steffi rushed from the back side. Steffi drops the football, and it looks like New Bremen has it. Beanbags come out, no signal from the referee quite yet, but it looks pretty obvious. And it is New Bremen football. Hayden Zeller with the pressure again, got his hands on the football on Steffi's rollout from right to left, trying to see who bounced on that for New Bremen. I think it was Ben Saylor who okay. ended up with the football. Okay, Ben Saylor with the football and the pressure applied by. No, actually, I think it was Ben Saylor on the pressure partner. All right. I think. I think he's the one that got his hands on it on the quarterback. And they'll hand this one off. This is Gugag. Gugag down the left side. Smeezing, pounds him down to the ground there on the stop. Locally, Gugeg, his first rush of the night. We called his name on defense once. First time we've said his name on offense. A nice little run there. Got seven yards. Clock at a minute. I don't think the Cardinals are going to rush this. Play clock at 16. Homan will pull this down. And he's met behind the line of scrimmage, but still falls forward. 
and gets enough for the first down with 47 on the clock. Ian Homan there on the stop for the Wildcats along with Charlie Smeezing. Now they'll rush back to the line with 43. They'll hand it off. Schaefer, Schaefer going to the left side. Schaefer stays in bounds as he picks up nine. Will Kanapke on the stop, the so six foot sophomore. Second and one. Homan rolls right. Still looking. Still looking, has time, now just throws it away. Good coverage downfield. They tried to send a man deep, but it was Dylan Wellman in coverage deep down the right side. Pardon me, that was Kaus. But the clock stops at 16. Third down one. Still one timeout left for New Bremen. Grant Dickey runs the play in for New Bremen. Holman in shotgun. Holman keeps it running left and spins away from a tackler. Picks up the first down, clock stops at 11. Yeah, he knew where the first down marker was, didn't he? That little spin move got him just enough yardage for the first down. And will they run another play? They get back to the line of scrimmage, nine on the clock. Homan. Steps up, throws, and incomplete. There'll be three seconds on the clock. Kaus in coverage right there. Pass intended for Aaron Tiemann. Yeah, he was really close, Mr. Kaus, getting the second interception of the night. Holman trying to find Tiemann down the seam. This time Zeller runs the play in. It'll be the last play of the half. Homan steps back, rolls out. Homan throwing deep, and that one intercepted. That's Kaus there to pick it off. Yeah, with his second interception tonight. And that does it for the first half, 28 to zero. New Bremen on top, Minster gets the ball to start the second half when we return on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 28 to nothing on that scoreboard as we are just about set to start the second half. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you tonight. Darren, as we said, 28 nothing in favor of New Bremen. And we got a stat sheet at halftime, and that's just about as lopsided as the score. Yeah, Deb and Bruce Monin very graciously passed stats out up here on press row, so to speak. And some of these stats, you know, Total yards, what were, what were we saying? Three, or 260 for New Bremen, 114 for Minster. You know, Brogan Steffi's put the ball in the air 25 times in the first half, completed eight. You know, as we're talking about that, Cozy just got to the kick off and appeared to be brought down by Noah Kelly. But, uh, you know, eight for 25, that's 32%. But what we were talking at the break, he probably had five or six footballs early on that was dropped. So mm -hmm. those numbers are a little bit deceiving. You know, and the other thing that stands out is New Bremen's uh, ability to put it on the ground and run with it. Holman with 127 yards on 16 carries and Hunter Schaefer 10 carries for 102. So that's, uh, that's very impressive. Minster will start this half with the ball. They send Schmiesing in motion. He's going to get the carry and trying to take it up the middle of the field, but runs right into Dylan Bumbauer. Mr. Bambauer's had a big, big night defensively for the Cardinal as well as his other teammates. It's a pickup of one, second down nine. Only 11 rushing yards for Minster in the first half. Well, he's been under relentless pressure 
you know, he's running around in the backfield, not being established, get his feet set. And then when they do run the ball, the quickness and the, the ability to contain the line of scrimmage by New Bremen has is, is, uh, caused a lot of havoc for Minster. Steffi wants to throw, steps up in the pocket, hit as he throws, and it falls to the turf. And a flag comes out. Not quite sure what they're going to call here. And it is going to be a defensive holding. That's our first call of the quarter. And our first calls tonight are presented by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Appears we had a defensive holding. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what they called. And it's an interesting one, too, because that pass certainly wasn't going to be catchable. Well, Coach Smith was, you know, using a few hand signals like the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Can't fault him for trying. No. Heck no. It's a ball up to the Minster 42-yard line for first down and 10. Steffi alone in the backfield. Three wide receivers split out to his right side. He rolls that way, pressured from behind, now throws, and that one is caught. Another first down as Chase Kaus brings that in. Actually, I think he might be short. It's a gain of nine, second down one. You know, I didn't see the pass and catch there. I was watching the pressure that was being put on to Mr. Steffi, and he took quite a lick right there and bounced right up, but it was a clean hit by New Bremen. It's Hayden Zeller chasing him from behind. So now they switch that formation, trips out to the left side. Steffi on second and one. He's going to pull it down, trying to run, find some space on the right side, and it's a big play as Steffi crosses the 30, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, and a big pickup as he goes inside the 10-yard line. Sure did. Solid effort there by Mr. Steffi to break loose. Got it in the open field, broke a few couple tackles. Van Bauer and Plyman on the stop. Yeah, he's dangerous with his feet and his arm, and right there he broke free. Broke a couple tackles, got as much as he could. And he triples the rushing yards for the Minster team. Well, this is a big possession. You punch it in right here, the confidence level, you know, goes up for Minster. Steffi will run this one as well and brought down from behind. Trying to see who was that ran him down. So number 50 something, 56. Mm -hmm. And that's Evan Iink. Looks like he picked up maybe even two yards. So second and goal from the seven here. You know, the night they played St. Henry, Minster, I'm speaking about. They struggled early on mm. and made some adjustments at halftime and come out and did exactly what they're doing here. Got possession of the football and, you know, marched it down the field. Let's see if they can't punch this in and get seven points, reward themselves for that offensive effort. Steffi throws to the end zone, and that one is caught. Touchdown, Minster. I believe it was Webker on the stop. Sure was. Pitch and catch. Nice little slant pattern, as you said. Great catch here. And that's how you start a half, especially when you're trailing by 28. New Bremen knocking on the door of a running clock, but instead it's Minster scoring first and Steffi with the PAT duties. That kick is up and it is good. 28 to 7, Minster with their first score of this game. They still trail by three scores. As we step aside, you're watching high school football on WOSN. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Minster. Punching it in for their first score of the night. A nice pitch and catch as Steffi found Devin Webker in the end zone. 28-7 your score here in New Bremen as Minster 
Gets ready to kick this back to the Cardinals. Down the right side. Grabbed by Hunter Schaefer. Schaefer right to the middle of the field as he crosses the 25. Gets to the 26. John Keller on the stop. Gil talked about the first half stats for New Bremen. On the ground, David Homan, 16 carries, 127 yards, three touchdowns. Hunter Schaefer, 10 carries, 102 yards, and one touchdown. That was a 44-yard touchdown run. Now Homan back to work, gives it to Schaefer. Schaefer up the right side, picks up a couple. Just about broke it, didn't he? Adam Rindler got him by the ankles and tripped him up, or he was going to get some big, big yardage here. Instead, it goes for two yards, second down, eight for New Bremen. Homan quickly gives it right back to Schaefer. Schaefer up the right side, picks up three more. Homan hands off to number 28, Hunter Schaefer. In fact, it looks like they'll only give him about two. Niemeyer on the stop along with Rendler for the Wildcats. You know, Minster's got Bremen right where they want them in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can't get a stop here, get the football back. Third down, six. Schaefer lined up to the left of Homan. And they get Minster to jump. Yep, think they're going to get him for encroachment. So it'll be third down one. Already two penalties here in the second half, only five in the entire first half. Three against Minster for 20 yards, two against New Bremen for 10. Makes the play call a little bit uh, easier if you're New Bremen. Homan left side. Homan trying to get the edge, still trying to get the edge. He has enough for the first down and gets more than that as he picks up about 10 yards on the carry and enough for the first down. Kanapke ran him out of bounds at the boundary on the far side. Not afraid to use that stiff arm, is he? No, not at all. Very strong runner. Now Tiemann gets the carry. He's looking for the edge, picks up a nice block. Sure was. Good job there by Hunter Schaefer, sealing the outside and propelling Tiemann for a gain of eight. Niemeyer on the stop, the sophomore, six foot 155 for Minster. And my apologies, it's a gain of 10, so it's enough for the first down. Schaefer with a nice block, freeing up Tiemann on the edge. Now Schaefer, Schaefer nowhere to go as he runs into Got the monster. Up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He loses a yard on that. And very Riddle. seldom do you see a loss of yards. Riddler and Fremo on the stop. Good job from Minster Wildcats right there. It's not often New Bremen has a play for minus yardage. Good job there by the visitors. Homan keeps this one and not able to break the tackle. Nice job by Minster's Brady Wolf holding on for Blew dear it up, life. Didn't he? The senior, six foot three inch tight end defensive lineman. Did a nice job shedding the block and still able to get a hold of Homan and pull him to the ground. Another loss for New Bremen. So that brings up third down 13. New Bremen keeping the ball on the ground, making this quarter go a lot faster than we saw the clock wind down in the first half. Homan looking to pass, throws down the left side and well out of reach of his target, Tiemann. Defended very well by Steffi. So fourth down and out trots Zeller, the punter for New Bremen. Kaus back to return for Minster. Tell you what, if they can score quickly on this drive, it becomes a very interesting ball game. This one kicked away down to the 15 yard line. Kaus will return. Kaus up the right side and he crosses the 25. 
Bang down there by number 10, Blake Shushlin, David Holman. It looks like they'll give him the 26 yard line. So the Minster offense comes back out onto the field. Big stop. Yeah, I'm curious to see what New Bremen does defensively. Are they going to pin their ears back and come after him? Or are they going to you know, sit back and protect the line of scrimmage a little bit right here? They'll split three out to the left side, one to the right. Bergman, the running back, lined up to the left of Steffi, who will keep it on the ground. Steffi trying to get the edge and runs right into a tackler. My goodness. Ben Saylor and Bam Bauer. Evan Eich also in on the play. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, so a second and 10 coming up. Yeah, New Bremen got burnt the last possession over pursuing the football, and Steffi was able to get loose and get a big gainer, which led to that touchdown and that last possession for Minster. Steffi throws quickly out to the right side. Webker oh. dropped the football. And trying to see if somebody got a hold of it. it appeared New Bremen. To be, appeared to be on Evan Eink on the loose football. It is indeed. A good pitch and catch. Webker having a nice start to the second half, but the fumble gives New Bremen the ball back in great field position. They'll start from the 34. Yeah, that's a great point. Devin Webker led them coming into the half with four possessions, favorite target for 36 yards, and I think he's had three alone here in the third quarter. Unfortunately, he put that pick skin on the ground right there, and Mr. Eink was right there to recover it. Teeman goes in motion. They run the counter. Schaefer, left side. Running right underneath that left guard and that left tackle. Pounding the football on the ground, getting about five. Six yard pickup. Good eyes. Clock nears the five minute mark here in the third quarter. Holman again with two runners in the backfield. Two wide receivers, one split either direction. They'll hand this to Tiemann. Going to the right side this time. Nice cut up field. And it looks like he's going to be a yard short of the first down. So third and short coming up. Good for job the by Chase Kaus right there. Coming up from his defensive back position. Turning Tiemann back to the inside. see if uh, they just go with Mr. Holman and his athleticism. Empty backfield and Holman still on his feet and he's just tripped up at the 15 yard line as he falls forward across the 10. Yeah, I'm not sure that who that was for Smeezing. Mr. It was okay. Smeezing. Smeezing got him by the ankles just enough because I'll tell you if he'd have kept his balance he was going to find pay dirt. Ball up to the nine yard line. First and goal. Clock at four minutes, one second and counting. Holman again alone in the backfield. Tight end on the right side. Got a false start. Indeed. Back him up five yards. Ball at the 14 yard line for first and goal. Yeah, it appeared to come from the right side area. Like you said, quick third quarter, huh? Mm hmm. Down under 345 to go here in the third quarter. Playbook wide open here for New Bremen. Teaming in motion out to the left side. They'll run that counter. Schaefer. Picks up the penalty yards. Gets back to the nine yard line. So first and goal, or second and goal, excuse me, from the nine. Niemeyer and Schmeezing on the stop for Minster. Called both of those young men name quite a bit tonight. <laughs> 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 
Holman has Schaefer again lined up to his left. Teaming in motion. Holman keeps it this time. Holman near the five yard line. That's where he'll be brought down. A little cutback action there by Holman. Tried to get as much as he could. Good job by Minster. Closing that gap. Max Kanapke on the stop along with Will Fremmel. And they place it at the six yard line. So third down and goal from the six. Same formation, Schaefer to the left of Homan. Teeman again in motion. Homan wants to throw, has Teeman. Teeman with the catch, Teeman with the touchdown. First passing touchdown of the night for the new Bremen Cardinals. And it's a six yard touchdown pass from Homan to Teeman. Sure did run Teeman in motion from the right side to the left. Got him out into the flat. Nice little pitch and catch from Holman to Teeman for the touchdown. Those Schaefer. that are familiar with basketball, both of those kids are part of the backcourt for New Bremen. Schaefer goes five for five on PATs, 2.20 to go third quarter. It's 35-7, New Bremen on top. Tonight's first calls are presented by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. 35 to seven, New Bremen on top at home over the Minster Wildcats. Both teams looking for their seventh win of the season. New Bremen with their first passing touchdown of the night as Homan found Teeman from six yards out. And now this one will be returned by Kaus from the four yard line. Kaus going from left to right all the way across the field. Crosses the 20. Tell you what, it's a 15 yard return and he ran for about oh, 50 yards across the field. He got as much as he could, didn't he? Teaming on the stop along with number 88, Owen Rindler. Six 155 pounds, sophomore linebacker, tight end. So this drive for Minster will start from the 21-yard line. Minster scored on their first drive of the half. Came up empty after a fumble on their second drive, and this is just their third possession of this third quarter. Needing a quick score here. Steffi takes the snap. Steffi looks to throw. He throws out, and it's complete. Schmiesing. With the catch, stays in bounds as he picks up seven. I'll tell you, that's a tough pass that he just made. I mean, he threw that thing to the boundary. And threw it exceptionally well. Nice catch by Schmiesing right there. He got him about eight yards. Nice, nice play there by Minster. Second down two, clock under two minutes here in the third quarter. You know, the, the, the quarterback being a sophomore, imagine him you know, you put 15, 20 pounds of bulk on him and make him a little stronger through the shoulders, he's really going to be able to whip that football. They keep this one on the ground with Justin Bergman, who picks up the first down. Up to the 32-yard line of Minster. Appeared to be Jack Saylor and Evan Eink on the stop. Gavin Plyman. Correction, ball at the 33 yard line. Steffi has Bergman lined up right behind him. They send a man in motion. Steffi quickly throws this one out to Webker. And Webker has been open on those short yes, passing has. routes. Yep, he's been the favorite target tonight. It's good for another first down. Dylan Kramer on the stop for New Bremen. Yeah, they're seeing something. The cornerbacks the are giving. Eyes of the eyes in the sky, the assistant coaches right. are seeing something up above us. See the cornerbacks are giving about seven yards of space to the receivers. And now they do a hitch and go. And Webker's there again with the catch. 
still on his feet as he's pushed out, but not before a big gain takes Minster inside the 20. Chased out of bounds to boundary by Dylan Kramer. Troy Homan also, 5'11", senior. All up to the 18-yard line, 31 seconds on the clock, third quarter. Both teams with three timeouts left. Minster splits two out to the left side. Webker alone on the right side. Now a little less space given up by the Cardinal defensive backs. Bergman with the carry left side, picks up a couple. Weaving his way to get as much as he could. Appeared to be stopped there by number 83, Hayden Zeller. Second down, eight, and we'll see if Minster gets a play off. Five seconds on the clock. And the clock hits zero. So that does it for the third quarter. 35 to seven, New Bremen leads as we step aside. Fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. Welcome back for the start of the fourth quarter here in New Bremen. The Cardinals on top of the traveling Minster Wildcats, 35 to seven as we begin the fourth quarter. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you tonight. Nick Nunez and Matt Brown on the cameras. As always, a great job. Second down and eight for Minster as they split three wide receivers out to the right side. Brogan Steffi has to run out of the pocket, stays on his feet, now steps up, throws, end zone, and well out of bounds. But a nice job by him evading all that pressure. He had to break about three tackles. Yeah, he showed a little happy feet right there and was a little elusive. Uh, Gavin Plyman slapping himself in the head. I mean, he, he had him in his sights, but like you said, nice little juke move there by Mr. Steffi to keep from getting sacked for a big sack. Third down eight. Four down territory for Minster, especially down this many scores in the fourth quarter. Quick throw, this one is caught and it gets should Niemeyer. be enough. Niemeyer, he's banged to the ground there by number one, Aaron Tiemann. Yeah, those, we talked about it right before the end of the quarter, but those short routes, the comeback routes, the slant routes have been there for most of the night. And honestly, partner, if we would have seen a couple of those drops caught in the first quarter, we could be talking about a completely different ball game. Absolutely. Here. Yeah, that, that was one of those. I don't know if it was jitters or whatever, but uh, – they're playing with a heck of a lot more confidence here in the second half. Much better job executing, let's put it that way. Good job there by Steffi finding his way to pay dirt. Steffi with his first rushing touchdown of the night. This one from six yards out. And the PAT will be kicked by Steffi. You know, it'll be interesting when it comes time for all league voting, the quarterbacks that you have in the league Whew. and the numbers that they're putting up. There are some good ones Holman, indeed. I believe Holman was the player of the year last year in the conference. And Steffi's matched him toe-to-toe, -to -toe, stat for stat all season long, as well as some of the other players in the league. Absolutely, it will be interesting. A lot going on around the MAC tonight. By the time you can see this game, I'm sure you'll be well informed on all the happenings across the Midwest Athletic Conference as we step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Welcome back to New Bremen. It's 35 to 14 as Minster tries the 
onside kick, and it's grabbed by Hayden Zeller. Good job Green. by Hayden Zeller right there, securing the football, protecting it with two hands. So New Bremen with the 35 to 14 lead. Three rushing touchdowns from David Homan tonight and also a touchdown pass from Homan as he connected with Teeman for a six yard touchdown pass. The other touchdown by New Bremen tonight was scored by Hunter Schaefer from 44 yards out as Schaefer kicks this drive off with a one yard run. Rindler on the stop, along with Will Kanapke. Officially a gain of two, which brings up second down eight. Teeman goes in motion. He'll run that counter play as Schaefer breaks a tackle in the backfield, falls forward for a couple more. Brady Wolf on the stop along with Max Kanapke. It's a gain of three, third down five for New Bremen. New Bremen six and two, four and two in the MAC. Minster six and two, five and one in the MAC. Homan wants to pass this one. He's got a man deep, but he's forced out of the pocket. He's just going to run this one in plenty for the first down as he picks up. Well, they'll give him he got seven yards, first eight down. yards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got enough. He knew exactly where the marker was and stepped out of bounds. Good thing Minster put some pressure on him, though, because he had two wide receivers mm -hmm. in behind the defense. First down 10 from the Minster 38. They'll run this one to Teeman looking for the edge. Breaks one tackle, nice cut up field. And enough for the first down, big pickup by Teeman who looked like he'd be brought down early. Lost the shoe. His teammate, Mr. Schaefer, threw a heck of a block there on the corner to free him to get him another eight or 10 yards. Ball up to the 25-yard line. Ran himself right out of his shoe, putting his right shoe back on. Now they'll run this one to Blake Suchland. Suchland takes a hard hit but falls forward, runs right over Webker. Yeah, Webker got his hat on, almost hat on hat right there. Like you said, stepped right up, made a big stop right there. Seven yard pickup brings up second and three. We've seen New Bremen share the wealth, giving the football up to various players here in the second half. There's nothing wrong with getting experience on sharing the football. Near Schaefer cuts up field, still on his feet, has enough for the first down as he gets down to about the 12 or 13 yard line. Schmeezing on the stop, along with Devin Webker from Minster. New Bremen not wasting their time this time as they run that counter play. And Schaefer still on his feet, close to the goal line. He stopped short, but not before a first down for the Cardinals. Webker there with a game, game saving touchdown right there. Ball down to the two yard line. Homan, snap, and here comes the flag, our first of the quarter. And our first calls tonight are presented by Pantry Pride. And Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. That penalty is a false start 
against New Bremen as they'll back up five yards. Clock continues to tick as it hits the eight minute mark in the fourth quarter. Homan sends a man in motion. And that ball's on the ground. Homan able to get back to it. Great effort there by Homan if he did indeed get the football back. Apparently he did. Looked like he was trying to hand that off to Gugeg, or if he wasn't, he didn't pull it out in time. Yeah, that's the second one they've muffed tonight. Didn't mm -hmm. they muff one in the first half, they too? Did. Which led to a turnover. Yeah, those are the things they got to clean up, especially coming up, you know, as we enter week nine. What next, or no, week 10 next week, correct? That's right. And then on to the playoffs. Homan has three wide receivers out to the right side as he pulls this one down. Goes to the left side, crosses the five yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. And I think they're gonna give him exactly the five. So a third and goal from the five yard line for New Bremen. Sharp and Will Kanapke. Ran home and out of bounds there at the five yard line. Clock stops at 7.03. This home and went out of bounds. Timeout taken by New Bremen, 7.03 on the clock. And we'll step aside. 35-14, New Bremen on top on WOSN. Tonight's premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Third down five as Homan tosses to the end zone and over the head of his target and incomplete to bring up fourth and five that was intended for Hayden Zeller. Defended very well by Brogan Steffi. So a field goal attempt coming up for Hunter Schaefer who is perfect on PATs. So it'll be a 22-yarder from the left side. Yeah, every extra point he's attempted tonight, he's got plenty of leg. That kick is up, and it is good. 38 to 14. New Bremen leads this one with 6.53 to go in the fourth quarter as we step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. 38 to 14 on that Speedway Lane scoreboard. New Bremen on top of Minster. And since the first quarter, it's been a slightly more respectable game. It was 21 to zero at the end of the first quarter. As New Bremen really ran away with things early on. Minster kind of slowed the bleeding a bit, but still well, not able to climb into the, this one. It was the mistakes early by Minster um, that got him, you know, in this position. But they played a, a pretty well second half. And this one kicked into the end zone by Schaefer. You got to like New Bremen's kicking game. Mr. Schaefer, he's got a nice leg there. Yeah, he doesn't kick it too high, but he keeps it away from the returner. He's rolled two into the end zone. One did go out at the one-yard line, but, yeah, you're absolutely right. He's got a nice leg. He's perfect on PATs, and he's one for one for field goals. Made a 22-yarder. So now Minster, three timeouts remaining, 6.53 on the clock. to score 24 points and 6.53. Steffi lines up with two wide receivers split out to the left side. 
Sends one in motion. Looks to pass. Steffi throws right side. That's caught. Schmiesing with the catch. He's brought down by Tiemann. There you see the arm of Oh, yes. Got Steffi. his feet set, yeah. didn't he? Nice tight spiral. Nice ball. Schmiesing with the catch. Nice open field tackle by Tiemann for New Bremen. Ball up to the 38-yard line. Clock nears the six and a half mark. Two runners in the backfield to either side of Steffi. Steffi to pass, throws this one, another one of those short routes as it's caught by James Niemeyer. Trying to see who brought him down there. Dylan Kramer with the stop. Again, nice pitch and catch right there by Steffi to Niemeyer. The Cardinals will be content with those underneath routes. Give up a couple yards at a time. Tiemann throws this one behind his target. Falls incomplete. Sorry, that was Steffi throwing the pass. Yeah, I think he was trying to look for that back shoulder to Niemeyer. You know, Niemeyer coming in. If I can recall, about three weeks ago on the stats, he uh, he he put up some solid numbers in the league, and they haven't targeted him as much tonight. It appears to be Webker that they're looking at, but now they're they're starting to find Niemeyer also. Second down, ten. They blitz right up the middle, and down goes Steffi. Appears to be Jonathan Heitkamp. Five foot 11, 170 pound tight end linebacker, the junior with a big sack. It's a loss of eight yards, third down 18 now. Nice solo sack right there by that young man on the blitz. Ball back to the Minster 46 yard line. Two receivers split out to the right side, one to the left. Steffi rolls, stops, now cuts up field. He'll have a lot of yards on his feet as he picks up the first down and makes another guy miss to get some extra yardage crossing the 30-yard line of New Bremen. Really a nice backside block there on the run by Niemeyer. Allowed him to get an extra eight or 10 yards as well as the offensive line there. They were blitzing from the outside and it was picked up very, very well by the left tackle. Up to the 28 yard line of New Bremen. Clock right at the five minute mark. Steffi has two in the backfield throws and that's out of reach of his target. That's James Niemeyer once again on the comeback route, but just didn't break out of that route quickly enough. No, and it made, you know, just a little bit off on the timing. You know, those are the things, the pitch and catches that you can fix with reps and practice. Second down, 10. That play ran four seconds off the clock. Steffi has two wide receivers split out. Takes the snap, he'll run this one left side and has plenty of yards, a nice hard carry as he runs into the safety. Sure was, put his shoulder down, made contact, trying to see who it was. It appeared to be number 21, Troy Homan. And uh, Steffi slow to get up. Wondering Mountain, like if that's not there. a shoulder. As they take a look at him, we will step aside here in New Bremen, 38-14, Cardinals on top. Welcome back to New Bremen. Quarterback Brogan Steffi walks off under his own power. 
a new quarterback into this game. It's James Niemeyer. Niemeyer throws a pass, and it's incomplete, but a good-looking ball there by the it wide receiver. It was. Yes, it was. Webker not able to bring it in, so a second down and goal. Yeah, ball right at the like 10. Like you said, Niemeyer, he threw a nice ball right there, sophomore, six foot. I'm sure he'd prefer to play on the perimeter. <laughs> <laughs> but in this situation, he's going to do what's in the best interest of the team right now. We hope Mr. Steffi's okay. They're attending to him on the far side. I would assume we won't see him back in this game, even if he is able to play. Uh, comeback route there and incomplete. Another nice pass by Niemeyer off the hands of his target. Hey, it went to Smeezing right there. I'm trying to see who broke that up. Was that Hayden Zeller? Sure was. was. Big fella with the long wingspan there, got his big pole in there and swatted it away. Nice thrown ball there by Niemeyer. Again, looking for Smeezing. Another sophomore for Minster. Third down 10. Three wide receivers split out to the right side for Minster. Clock, play clock down to four. Niemeyer rolls. Nice Looking pass, pass protection right there. Oh, ball batted down. Trying to see who that got their hand on it. Yeah, but I ain't. Yep. So now fourth down 10. Nice pass protection there by Minster. Now. Probably safe to assume that we know the result of this one, but you gotta you, you look at the score. Clearly, a big victory for New Bremen. But if it wasn't for that, or those three touchdowns to start this game, if Minster could have made maybe one or two stops and kept momentum from shifting too far to New Bremen's side, we'd be talking about a different score and possibly a much closer ball game right now. Well, these are things that are all correctable. You know what I'm saying? Those are yeah. those are things they can go back and watch film and. You know, we both have to think strongly that they're both going to make the playoffs and, you know, get those things corrected. So when you go into week 11, that first round of the playoffs, and you call that play again, that there's going to be a connection there. And, and uh, like you said, you know, one or two possessions there, the point swing differential could be a different ball game, but New Bremen did what they had to do. You know, they they took those miscues and put points on the board for themselves. So credit to them, mm -hmm. credit to Minster for the second half effort. They haven't quit. They battled. They've competed. You know, and this is you know the community. Both communities are stones throw away, but it's been a very clean played game by both ball clubs. Absolutely. Fourth down 10, Niemeyer still running around in the backfield. Now throws and hey. that one's caught. Hey, did we see a little bit of uh, Mr. Mahomes right there with the little sidearm sling? <laughs> sure looked like it. And a touchdown. He brought that down to the Patrick Mahomes to the side, little sidewind action. Nice job by that young man. And now remember, their PAT kicker is Brogan Steffi, who's injured right now. So we'll see if they have a backup kicker that they trot into this game. It'll be, be good opportunity and good experience. It appears they do. I'm trying to see who it is. Justin Bergman. Going to get his shot here for an extra point. Good snap. Kick is up. That looks My good. Goodness. And it well is. Well done by that young man. So with 4.17 left, it's 38-21. New Bremen on top as we step aside. The rest of the fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. 
38 to 21 on that scoreboard. But partner at the break, we talked about the fact that Minster is winning this half 21 to 10, a team that could have given up at halftime trailing 28 to zero, but they put together a really nice second half here. Well, that's a tribute to the coaches and believing in the players and, and the kids just continuing to work and battle and compete. Onside kick falling on by New Bremen. Still three timeouts left for both teams. We'll see if Minster wants to call those and make a, a game out of it. Nice play there by Carter Elking recovering that onside kick for New Bremen. Cardinals start this drive from the 47. Just see if they chew some clock up here with, on the ground. That's Schaefer on the carry. He's brought down by Charlie Schmiesing. No gain on the play, second down 10. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie's been quiet this evening, but I think that has a lot to do with the offensive line protection that New Bremen has displayed tonight. Normally, Carter finds the backfield for tackles for laws or sacks. They run this one to Gugeg as he gets up the right side and has enough for a first down. I think Niemeyer met him and pushed him out of bounds over there. Good enough for a first down for New Bremen. I think locally Gugate had about what, two or three carries tonight, and each one has been pretty nice. Quick feet. Ball up to the Minster 41-yard line. 3.33 on the clock. Play clock down to 10 for New Bremen. Keep this one on the ground. Nice cut there by Schaefer. Nice stiff arm, too. Schaefer needs to beat Webker, who just knocks him down short of the goal line. Great effort by Webker there to run the ball carrier down. Pushed him out of bounds just before reaching the pylon. Ball at the one yard line. Clock down to 321. It'd be easy for Webker to just, you know, give up and let him get in the end zone. That young man did not. He pushed him out of bounds at the one. Holman takes the snap, gives it to Schaefer, and he dances into the end zone. Touchdown, New Bremen. Nice kick out block there by Marcus Spielman. Five foot 11 inch senior, allowing Schaefer to find pay dirt. Schaefer with his second touchdown run of the night. He's had a nice night, two touchdown runs. He's over 100 yards. Well, he was over 100 yards at the half. Well, take your pick. You know, they got 200 yard, you know, rushers tonight. And then now they're sharing the wealth with the other. Kai Eastham with Players. the PAT instead of Schaefer, and he makes it and makes the score 45 to 21. Hey, we're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. You can nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV slash John Reed. Big moment for that young man. Kai Eastham, senior, doesn't get a whole lot of opportunities to kick or punt. Get an opportunity on senior night, knock in an extra point. Great to see. Yeah, definitely. And we, we talked about Schaefer and how he has those two touchdowns. He's one for one from field goal or for field goals so from a 20, 22 yards out, and he's five for five on PATs tonight. So nearly a perfect game. For Hunter Schaefer. Well, even the backup kickers would come in. And, <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? I Both mean, of them. It, 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 it's tough to find high school kids that, you know, are consistent kickers. And when you have them, you know, what a benefit and a plus that is for your program. 
Absolutely. That's the young man from Columbus Grove who's went on to Marshall and was a nemesis and put it was a thorn in the side of Notre Dame when That's right. Marshall knocked Notre Dame off earlier this year. So having a kicker that can kick it is a luxury. Absolutely. Hayden Zeller will kick this one off for New Bremen. 317 on the clock. And Zeller. My goodness. Kicks this down to the five yard line. And a nice return here by Schmeezing. Schmeezing. Nice return. Ben Saylor on the tackle. So back out comes the Minster offense. Appears that uh, New Bremen's going to put some second string kids in, get them an opportunity to get some varsity action. It's great to see. This drive starts from the 30 yard line. Minster still three timeouts. Niemeyer takes the snap. They'll keep this one on the ground, right side. That's Justin Bergman, Bergman as a yeah. flag comes out. Nice run by that young man. Let's see if we made his way to the first down marker. Looks like he got 10. They'll tack on 15 at the end of it for a face mask. Love seeing the coaches on the sidelines coaching the kids up. Regardless of whether you're ahead or behind. Niemeyer in shotgun. He'll hand this one off to Bergman once again. Bergman down the left side. And Bergman. My goodness, got him about nine on that carry. That's 19 and two carries. Doesn't hurt your average, does it? Not at all. Be second down, well, I guess it was eight yards. So second down two. Want to thank our sponsors one more time. We'll give those to you after this play. Niemeyer throws this one, comeback route. Nice catch there by Connor Garrett. I think the ball went out of bounds there after he was down. Our sponsors tonight, the scoreboard sponsor was Speedway Lanes. Our first call sponsor, Pantry Pride. And our premier sponsor for the evening was Minster Bank. As always, appreciate our sponsors keeping this station running. I had a fine people here at New Bremen for mm. hosting us tonight. We had some food and water at halftime and very nice facility to, to watch a high school football game. Now I say they're friendly people up here. Now if the score was different, I don't know how they'd be acting toward us. Probably friendly though. Are we getting any smiles? No, I don't think anyone even okay. heard me. So no, that's even. okay. Yeah, sometimes you sit right in the middle of the press box like we do tonight and make some friends with the locals. You know, every trip I've made down here for basketball, they've been nothing but mm -hmm. first class. And Clock just over 1.30. Niemeyer with Bergman lined up behind him. Takes the snap, hands it off. Bergman to the left side, brought down for a loss. Trying to see who that is. Stepped up and made the stop there. Owen Riddler, six foot one sophomore linebacker for the Cardinals with the stop. Under a minute to play. Niemeyer lined up in shotgun as the backup quarterback. Prayers out to Brogan Steffi on a speedy recovery, but Minster not done with this one, a near the goal line. Yeah, Niemeyer to Peppelman. 
And, uh, no official word, but it sounds like Coldwater may have an injured quarterback as well. It reports up here say Miles Blazen game has left the game in cold water. So if that's the case, prayers up for him as well. Talk about great quarterbacks in this conference. He's certainly right up there at the top. Absolutely. Bergman right side. Bergman stopped short. Nine seconds left. Will Minster take a timeout here? John Heitkamp on the stop. The junior. And Kept that, him out of the end zone. That will do it. A great second half by Minster, but with a great start from New Bremen, the Cardinals able to hang on for a 45 to 21 win. They move to seven and two on the season, five and two in the MAC. Minster falls to six and three, also though with a five and two record in the MAC. Well, computer points, you know, obviously both teams are probably secure in the playoffs but it's definitely a big plus for New Bremen because they're going to garner quite a few computer points. It'd be interesting to see if this pushes them enough to host an opening round game. Um, not sure where it's going to place Minster. I'm sure it's probably going to put them on the road. But, uh, you know, both's going to extend their seasons for week 11. We'll just have to wait and see who their opponent's going to be. They got to get through next week healthy. Um, I hope uh, Brogan, it's nothing serious for him or, you know, any kid for that matter, especially, you know, Mr. Blassing game at cold water, you know, prayers and thoughts are with you guys. And hopefully you guys can return next week and get back to doing things that you love to do. And we as announcers and people in the stands love to watch you play. So, but uh, congratulations to New Bremen. Uh, big win tonight on senior night. And, Minster's going to be okay. They're going to go back and watch films and dissect the films, keep working with the kids. And like I said, post games are, or post seasons right around the corner for both teams. Absolutely. Another thank you to the New Bremen Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. A thank you to our sponsors, Speedway Lanes, Pantry Pride, and Minster Bank. And thank you to our camera guys, Braving the Elements, Nick Nunez and Matt Brown. One more time, your final from New Bremen, it's the Cardinals 45, the Minster Wildcats 21. For Darren Gilbert, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.